Welcome to Sri Ram Medical College. Today we will explore what is bone marrow aspiration, purpose, procedure and risks. The liquid portion of the soft tissue inside of your bones can be sampled through a procedure called bone marrow aspiration. The soft, sponge-like tissue inside the bones is called bone marrow. Larger bones, such as the breastbone, hip bone, and rib cage, contain blood-forming cells that generate white blood cells, WBCS, red blood cells, RBCS, and platelets. Disease-fighting white blood cells. Red blood cells deliver oxygen and nutrition. Platelets clot blood. Diseases connected to unhealthy bone marrow. If blood tests show abnormally low or high white blood cell, red blood cell, or platelet counts, your doctor may consider a bone marrow aspiration. While undergoing chemotherapy for cancer, a bone marrow aspiration may be performed. Tests like this can reveal whether or not the cancer has migrated to the skeletal system. There can be abnormal increases or decreases in red blood cell, white blood cell, and platelet counts, and this is shown on a CBC. Your doctor may do a bone marrow biopsy to determine the root of the problem. A bone marrow biopsy typically accompanies a procedure called bone marrow aspiration. However, in a bone marrow biopsy, solid tissue is removed from your bone marrow using a separate needle. However, it's important to remember that there is always a chance of complications with any medical procedure, including bone marrow tests. Allergic reaction to the anesthetic, severe bleeding, infection, and chronic pain are all possibilities. The hazards are minimal, and those who already have a compromised immune system or low platelet count are particularly at risk. If your immune system is compromised, you may be more susceptible to illness. If your platelet count is low, you may experience heavy bleeding. A hospital gown will be provided, and you will be instructed to lie on your side or stomach. The part of your body that is being examined will be the only one exposed, thus you will be asked to remove all clothing. Before performing a bone marrow aspiration, your doctor will take your vitals, including temperature, heart rate, and blood pressure. Before the procedure, the area to be aspirated will be numbed. The posterior hip bone's highest point. The breastbone or sternum and phone may be used to give sedatives and painkillers. Doctors use hollow needles to enter skin and bone. The needle is dismantled and a syringe inserted to remove marrow fluid. Possible mild pain. After the procedure, your doctor will bandage the incision and you'll have some downtime before going home. You may feel pain for a week after surgery. Over-the-counter pain medications usually help. The needle insertion site must be treated. In the first 24 hours after surgery, apply pressure and bandage the incision as advised by your doctor. Join Sri Ram Medical College and take the first step toward a successful career in medical laboratory technology. We are here to assist you in launching your career as a medical lab technician. Call us at 9968193009 for more information about our program or to submit an application right away. Sri Ram Medical College, nurturing next generation of healthcare leaders, and offers all paramedical courses at competitive fee and helps in 100% placement assistance. Admission open. For more information, please visit our website sriramcollege.com and like, share, subscribe, our YouTube channel Sriram Medical College. 
good luck, goodbye.